What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat and I'm back with more Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So, last time, we went to Atlantis, helped out Namor, found Mandrian down, uh... Or I'm getting ahead of myself. Stopped Atuma and Tiger Shark, and was revealed that the uh, Masters of Evil, surprise, surprise, were behind uh, giving them the Sonic emit Emitters. I don't know why I want to keep wanting to call them Emitters. Emitters. Um... Finding Mandarin down in the um, little area looking for some kind of book that he found left us to fight with the Kraken. Now we're heading to the Valley of Spirits uh, straight up to stop Mandarin and find out what he's up to. So let's get some information. How are you doing, Iceman? Great, just great. I've lost count of how many bad guys I've thrashed today. You sound dangerously close to uh, whoever does Deadpool's vo. VO. <laughs> Gotta stand up now. Done chatting. All right. What do you know about Mandrian? He is a genius who has developed ten rings of power from alien technology. His palace in the Valley of Spirits is protected by a gigantic robot known as Ultimo. How dangerous are these rings of power? Very. But Iron Man could fill you in on the specifics. He and Mandarin have been arch enemies for years. Alrighty. What is the Valley of Spirits? It is a valley in mainland China. Where Mandarin discovered the wreckage of an ancient starship. What species built the starship? The Aksankar. Dragon-like creatures from the planet Macro 4. Their technology is still centuries ahead of us. Alright, cool. I don't know who that is. Uh, what did Mandarin do with the alien technology? He reassembled it in a deserted castle in the Valley of Spirits. And while working with this advanced machinery, he also discovered the Maklu and Power Rings. What are those? They were intended to serve as energy sources for the warp drive engines of the alien starship. But Mandarin converted them to his own twisted needs. No surprise. All right, cool. Thanks for the information. Oh, I'm stuck. Certainly. There we go. I'll just switch to Black Panther. All right. Um, let's go ask King Pym. I think he had some other quite information about where we're going. Hi. It's good to see you. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna suck. All right. So, what is Ultimo? That's a robot created by Mandarin to battle Iron Man. It's huge, from what I hear. What's this robot do? Ultimo's programmed to destroy all life in its path. The skin covering the robot is virtually indestructible, and its power source is nearly limitless. This is sounding dangerously close to something else, huh? A giant, uh, a giant metal thing that destroys all life in its uh, presence. Where have I heard that before? All right. Uh, what do you know about Mandarin's power? Rings of power. Advanced technology that Mandarin took from the wreckage of an alien starship. He adapted them to serve as weapons. What do they do? They offer a wide range of attacks, from force fields to ice blasts to disintegration beams. They make Mandarin a very dangerous man. Comforting. No problem. All right. Well. That all talked about. Let's uh, let's head to the Valley of Spirits. So we'll need to go talk to Wyatt so we can uh, suit up and go. Hi, can I take you somewhere? Yep, we're going to the Valley of Spirits. Loki, are you certain your ploy in Atlantis worked? My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin? It matters not, so long as one of them pays the ultimate price. The traitorous Mandarin will most likely meet his demise. But not without destroying several of Fury's lackeys first. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle. Long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. I should hope so, Loki. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. That pompous fool's overdeveloped physique is nothing compared to my conniving intellect. 
Oh, I have longed to crush his self-righteous countenance beneath my booted heel. Silence! All of you. My scanners show the heroes are in the Valley of Spirits. We have set the stage, and the players have arrived. Now, let us watch and see who will survive this tale of deception. So yeah, that wasn't Mandarin. That was uh, Loki disguised as Mandarin. Ma Mandarin. Mandarin? I don't know how to pronounce his name. We've arrived at Mandarin's... Oh, shit. Okay, so I had to do some minor tweaking and stuff. That I didn't know I couldn't do here. Mandarin's palace, Colonel Fury. All's quiet. Let's hope it stays that way. So yeah, it didn't give me the option to change my team like I was hoping it would. So I had to go reload and change it now. We are equipped with Storm, Miss Marvel, Spider-Woman, and Blade. Tracking him down shouldn't be a problem, but living long enough to ask him questions might be a little difficult. Tracking him down shouldn't be problem. Flawless A plus game. Storm, I didn't think anything scared you. I'm not frightened, Colonel. Just cautious. I've faced Mandarin's rings of power before. I didn't actually know that. I hear you, Storm, but I have every confidence you'll succeed. You have to find out what Doom's planning next. Fury out. All right, my friends. You heard the colonel. Let's see if we can locate Mandarin. Oh, locating Mandarin won't be the hard part. It's everything in between that's the hard part. All right. I have located the enemy. You are my boss. So let's break some Shaolin monks, shall we? All right, she has chain lightning. Sweet. Also, Storm uh, donning her classic outfit because that's how I always know her thanks to the uh, X-Men cartoon series. I'm going to borrow the sword. Thank you. Oh, or not. Thank you, Blade. Actually, Storm, you hold on to that. Because, fun story, and I don't know if I've talked about this. If you actually switch team members with... Uh, a team member who's holding a weapon, the AI can hold on to the weapon much longer than you ever possibly could. It's crazy. Because I actually want to play as, uh... Let's do Miss Marvel for a bit, because I'm still trying to get a hold of her powers. Alright. I think only someone strong enough can actually open this door. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's that projectile thing again. All right. All right, room over there I can't go to. And I know exactly what's waiting for me in that room. So, uh, let's go greet that room, shall we? So, thing about Mandarin's place is, uh, while every place always has a ton of, like, mini-bosses and stuff, this place, uh... Has a lot of mini bosses too. And it's about time we meet our first one. Or is it? Nope, that's not here yet. Okay, it's next one. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. I don't know, does energy count as a uh, element? I'm not actually sure. I don't think it does, though, so no problem. Who else needs an attitude adjustment? Attitude adjustment. All right. Oh, sweet. I have enough. Uh, I actually wanted to buy this, but I didn't have enough points. There we go. Health per kill. Regain health per kill. There we go. Now that Blade is all suited up, uh, what have I got for him? Gun looks like it's going to be my best friend. Uh, what does his buff do, though? That is what I want to find out. Blood of the Warrior. Increased damage taken, but adds health regain and attack abilities. Huh. Alright. Seems like a good thing to use when we're out of downtime and I need to heal. So... 
Okay, here's the door for the first mini boss. Oh, uh, and yeah, that door is locked. I can't get by there yet. All right, team. Okay. Time to fight. None shall pass. That was almost too easy. Really, none will pass. That's pretty easy to me. Dragon Man. I don't know who this character is. I could really use some help here. Yeah. I really need some help. Oh, we lost really Miss Marvel. Holy shit. Uh, I was actually not expecting that. All right. Ow, shit. Don't worry, we can take him. He's almost down. And down for the count. Alright, well. Uh, I was not expecting Dragon Man to kill one of my characters. Huh. Well, nonetheless, we survived. Yeah, I don't know who Dragon Man is. I know he's big, he's terrifying, and he's scary. That's about it. Uh, I forget. Can Spider Woman? Yeah, Spider Woman can fly. I couldn't remember if she could or not. Though she does have an ability that's going to be really helpful, and that's a bouncing attack. That'll be useful for later on, providing she survives long enough to get there. But hopefully she does. I hope. What else is in here? Okay, here's unfortunately where I could have used Miss Marvel. So I'm actually gonna kill these guys and see if I've got enough to revive her. Come on, go away, die. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. All right, so. That is not the button. There we go. Portal. Portal us away! Alright. Uh, damn. Now I've got to wait. So we're going to play the waiting game. Alright, Miss Marvel is healed. So now she's back with the team. So now we can do this. Chill out, Mandarin. We're not happy about being here. But there's a few questions we need the answers to. I have no commoner for you to question whenever you wish. Be gone, or I will destroy you, Ms. Marvel. Sorry, no can do. We saw you in Atlantis, and we need to know why you were there. We'll see about that. So yeah, Ultimo, another boss. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't expect to have too much trouble with him. I'm just gonna spam Storm's uh, chain lightning because I I seem to have him kind of stun locked right now. Okay. But that won't last long because I'm gonna run out of energy. There we go. I'm out of energy. But at least now we've uh, wounded him greatly. Also, thing I haven't been talking about that I probably should have been. Uh, you'll notice now around the character's portrait, uh, for certain characters, Storm specifically, you'll notice this kind of, like, half golden ring that's there. Uh, that is for her ultimate attack. It's been slowly building, uh, as I've been doing combos and whatnot with her. Uh, hopefully we'll get to show that off. Yeah. Uh, sure. yes. from the looks of it, everyone except Miss Marvel has their ultimate that they can use. Okay. Uh. But it has to be built up first, and then we'll get to uh, talking about more about that. So, we'll clear one more room, and then we'll call this episode an end. 
Because why use conventional doors? Alright, so empty room. Or so it appears. This looks like the way out, but the door is locked on the other side. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, bunch of enemies. Kill them. Oh yeah. That was actually quicker than I thought. What uh, Spider-Woman just picked up is an ultimate ring. It'll fill up part of your ultimate meter, basically. Uh, it does it for everyone. So, since Storm was the closest, she got, like, the most out of it. But as you can tell, like, this, uh, this attack's really gonna help in here. Maybe. Kind of. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna... I wanna get Spider-Woman's power built up before we go to a fight. Or before we end this level. I wonder how Blade's doing. Ooh, Blade is also somewhat... Ooh, never mind. There. <laughs> Blade now has full. So now it just leaves me with Spider-Woman to fill out. Which, she is super close already. So, that's a plus already. Awesome. And next time we'll get to unleash the power of the ultimate. Is that everyone? Nope. Ah, uh, that is every Oh no. <laughs> Couple more. I lied. I'm wrong. There we go. All right. So, with ultimates primed, next time we'll find out what's waiting on the other side of this access point. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta.